Hello guys, it's the Fantastic C here. Today I'm back on Minecraft Java Edition. Play my um, map, Node Idiom, hardcore mode, of course. But anyways, um, if you look over here, actually, which side was it? Like when I was making the thumbnail, um, like I made a separate like a copy world, but I noticed that like two of the blocks were missing. So, I'm going to uh, put those where they belong really quick. Okay. There we go. Let's also check uh, the other side over here. And okay, I think we're good, but just to make sure... Yep, that looks correct. Okay, let's get on with um, what we're going to do now. Now, as you know, Minecraft has a very vast ocean, okay? Now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to look around and try to look for a... a little bit of a different biome. Because I want to get leather armor, especially in the snowy tundra here. Um... So yeah, I think that's a good plan, where to start off. Actually, if this was powdered snow, I'd be falling down here immediately. Probably not a good idea to wander around a ravine too much. Um, but yeah, let's get this started. Now, I know my general coordinates, so I think moving around, making a boat, and exploring the ocean isn't a bad idea. So let's do that, maybe find some cows, bring some back, you know. And try to make a farm, perhaps? Um... Yeah. Also, these trees have not grown whatsoever. Uh, not too sure why. But I'll have to figure that out later. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get a boat, look around, make some gates, um, in case I get a cow or something. But before that, I need more food. Because I only have like 12 fish left, so let's restock. Man, I think one of the first things I want to get on... on like an enchanted leather helmet or something. Since I plan to max out leather armor or something before I even move on to... iron, perhaps? Or maybe gold? I don't know. <laughs> Maxed out gold armor. Like, for 100 days, I just swap between each armor tier. I go from, like, leather, to gold, to a uh, chain mail, uh, to iron. And, and then to diamond, and then finally to netherite. But maybe I'll also shorten the interval to max them out, like 75 days in gold to max it out. Um, 50 days in iron to max it out. And so on and so forth. Oh, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I need to get out of here. But yeah, I'm just gonna go loot hunting for a good while. But yeah, let's get this all cooked up and I'll be ready to go, pretty much. But yeah, I also have to find some, like, shipwrecks as well. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. You know what, there's too many of these guys, so let's just... That's annoying. Really annoying, my goodness. And this guy's stuck here, actually. This is horrible. <laughs> Insomnia stinks, there's like no sheep here though. So I can't even sleep. But I mean, with these guys already in my area? Oh, actually the snow's pretty good as like a, or at least this part. Oh my gosh, really. Get back here. I just want to relax, please. Two more. Okay, these guys actually aren't too hard to deal with if you deal with them one by one at least. Oh my gosh. I looked around for a second and that's what happens. Alright, but that's one wave of them done with. Uh, I think going on a boat won't be too risky though. I don't think it will be, unless there's like a drowned with a trident. You know, I have encountered a trident many times before, actually. <laughs> this is a good idea. <laughs> At night time, just to go on a random adventure. So anyways, let the looting tundra begin. 
Oh, an ocean monument. Really? Right there? Well, okay. That's good to know, actually. And let's get out over here. Oh, snap. Let's see lantern. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my... <laughs> Bro! Okay, it was a good choice to go in here when I did, then. You know what? I should... I should really just... Go inside of a bed. Oh, a shipwreck! Well, alright, let's go over there. And this one's, like, above water. Which means, like, that's pretty good, actually. It's, like, really above water here. You gotta be kidding me. Is it only one? Again? What's the cooldown on these guys? Now you know what, I'm just going to go inside here. You know, take shelter. Do the smart thing, okay? Gold, iron, ooh, look at all that. Not quite what I'm after, though. Um, Moss blocks, that's interesting. Man, though. Wish I could use some food. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Please, get away. Oh my gosh. I thought I hit them. It's like with these guys, I never really know. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's one down, another one down. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Just leave me alone, though. It's finally going to be... Really? You know what? Where are they at? Try to catch me now. Yep, goodbye. Uh, let's get some of this kelp. Alright, let's go. Kelp. This will be useful for a water elevator, of course. Um, I have some big plans for, um, that one base. I don't know, maybe to make a... Some sort of, like, elaborate water elevator instead of something more standard. I don't know. Ah, you hear that? Minecraft music accompanied by no sounds of the phantoms. Very cool. Alright, and we found our first ruined nether portal, and... Um, actually, I'm not really sure if that's the plain... I forgot what that biome's called, but I'm not... I'm not... I'm pretty sure it's not called the plains. I don't know, I'll have to read the biome name after we get there, actually. I actually didn't read the biome name for, uh... The biome I spawned at. Efficiency pick. Random shovel. Nice. But yeah, let's check out this plains biome. Or forest or something, I don't know, it's got like everything. Yeah, so this biome is called... Yeah, it is called the forest, okay. I guess I can look around and see if there's any more, uh... Like, shipwrecks or anything. But yeah, I also really want, like, other mobs as well. Maybe... Actually, maybe, like, a wandering trader would have been a good idea to, like... Yeah, a wandering, a wandering trader would have been... Good, maybe I should have just waited for that. Uh, that, that does not sound too fun. Two trips. Well, at least I got saplings, though, so... This one trip was... Pretty successful. I mean, I don't know, I'm not bad on food, so I can probably just continue doing what I'm doing, but I also want that leather armor, so that way I can start maxing it out. Because I think my next project will be um, some sort of village, actually. You know, to get ready for that, and then go to a fortress, perhaps, in the nether? I mean, I know without any armor, it's pretty ambitious already. But, uh, since I only need to find blazes, I can probably just make an easy way to farm them. I don't know. Yeah, because I think what I need to do is block off all of their 
spawns and then I could dig out a little area. I don't know. Anyways, let's check out if there's any animals around, perhaps. Uh, what biome will this one be? Taiga. Oh, and a, and a dark oak biome. Okay, I kind of also want to explore that part. There's even some mushrooms, actually. Oh, man. I also want those mushrooms. I mean, I can get more of this, you know. That's pretty easy to get, you know. Um, yeah, let's get this sugar cane really quick. As well, well, actually, no. I know there's some near spawn, so I'll save my inventory for later. Pumpkin's very cool. Tall trees. Actually, is this a separate biome? Let me just check really quick. Biome, old growth, spruce, taiga. Okay, so this is a little bit of a separate. Oh! What? Wait. Hold on. Do we need, like, shears or... What's this? Okay, so it's oak, but... Is it, like, one of those bush ones or something? Wait! Oh, hold on, here. What's this? More water. Okay. That looks nice. Wait. That's a ton of moss. Okay. Uh, let's actually... What's that? Oh, it's a tropical fish, okay. No way, okay. Oh my gosh. Yup, it is this. Yo! That's cool! Look at that! This is awesome, okay. Um. Do I need. Oh, no, I don't need. Um. Oh my gosh! This is awesome! Yeah, I'll just take one for now. That, that's really cool. I can use this as like some sort of interesting light source now. But I don't have to plan what to use it for. I mean, for now I can just farm it though. Oh boy. This is not going to be fun. Actually, I think that was one of the bushes over there. Okay, you know, no. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, nope, that's a creeper. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my. Okay, I hit the torch. Oh my gosh! Okay, let's go. I could have escaped earlier, you know, there's water right here and everything. You know, it is what it is, uh... Got quite a bit of loot now, actually. And let's head back. Because I do not want to be here any longer. Uh, let's check, I think it's- yep, it's this way. I'll go this way first. Uh, what to throw? I mean, I can get more iron once I make an iron farm. And gold wants to make a gold farm, but you know. Okay, uh... Let's try not to die at, like, the most random spot. One wool. Come on, eat up. I'll move you to the next grass block. Eat. Bruh. Eat! Thank you. Okay. There we go. 
Uh, I guess I can take one cow with me. You know, because why not? Yeah, we're almost back. I should see the snow sphere soon. Probably. Yep, there, there's my home. And now where is the snow sphere? There it is! The snow sphere! But yeah, I've also got my first cow, so... <laughs> the first cow in this, like... Snowy biome. And let's actually prepare this part from the farmland. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, this part seems like a nice place for them. Uh, yeah, let's make some walls at- or no, get the walls that we have. In the snowy cold. Finally, oh my gosh. You can sleep and we're on day 8. Yeah, started on day 5, so... Um, I think for now... Just to light up some parts a little bit. Yeah, I can grow there. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get the outline all set up. So... Yeah, it's about one. Perfect, okay. That works. And now everyone's happy, including me. Especially me. But mainly the cows. Alright, this is solid for now, for what it is. So... actually, maybe... Oh, I really want two gates now. Okay, let's just make that really quick then. Okay, let's go, okay. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll just spend uh, like a tiny bit of time actually leveling it. Let's go. Actually, another place I could get leather is actually in the nether. But I think this one will be well, a little more reliable for now. Yeah, that's right. I need to get the, get the wheat. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's right. You only need to right-click these. So that means... We have, like, a growable light source. That's okay. Okay. That's going to be cool. Yeah, a growable light source. Okay, look at that. Let's actually light up this entire part, um, and also use it as a farm at the same time. Double purpose, you know? Alright, but while we're getting that cow on the farm, let's... ...mine this tree a little bit. And then let it despawn its bushes. Okay... Okay... Come on, cow! And alright, let's go! Alright, let's go back and quick. It's all these small incremental accomplishments that will amount to something greater. Like the sphere. Alright, more bushes. Let's go. And now, I think the next thing... Yeah, that's right. I wanted to explore that cave a little more. I just hope there's not too many ninja creepers. I mean, might be able to survive one, but as for the next few... Well, that's another story. Actually, let's... Yeah, okay, good, they're breakable like that. Alright, one right there. Yeah, let's plant a bunch of trees, actually. Maybe that'll spice some things up. And more bones! Let's go! Now, before I go into the mine, actually, I should empty up my inventory a little bit. And I think glowberries will actually be a pretty good thing to grow in the underground since the... Yeah, since they'll just droop down and glow the surrounding area. That'll be fun to look at, and then I could think of a different light source to use in the future. For now, let's store everything where it's supposed to be stored. 
store everything I don't need to use. And maybe more torches would be a good idea. Actually, maybe a lot more torches. Let's just... Let's just get that. Alright, let's bring a little sticks. A little wood. About half a stack. And I think we'll be okay on cobble, but just in case... For emergency crafting only. 32. And also, iron. Wait, that's right, I already have the crafting table. Okay. Let's go down into the mine shaft and explore the cave a little more. Though we didn't really have a chance to explore. Okay, let's also place the tree there. Now, let's head into the mine and see what we can find. Let's also craft another pickaxe to use. And let's go. Let's head on. Head on in. I think, actually, you know what? Let's mine one block above every every hit, you know. Okay, now we are actually... Oh, wait, we are. Oh, I was looking at a different coordinate. Never mind. Alright. Let's explore this cave a little more. Doesn't seem like there's too much room for ninja creepers. There's a ton of mobs though. Let's just look around, make sure we stay away from skeletons. Oh my gosh. Don't want to die here. Actually, let's switch to axe really quick. Get a good crit. Okay, let's actually go back now, because that skeleton is going to be annoying. Okay, deal with this guy. Maybe some of the other mobs here. Alright, the skeleton didn't notice me. And let's also... Ooh, diamonds. Okay, skeleton over there. Come on. Okay, let's get the leather off this guy. Did he drop any of his leather? Nope. Not too many ninja mobs, actually. Want an iron armor, what the heck? Alright, let's switch to my other sword really quick. Yeah, there's quite a bit of mobs on this side. Oh man, that would be really cool to see like some... Ah, uh, what is it? Glow berries on the top here. Ah, uh, but now to deal with these remaining mobs, actually. Already conquered quite a bit here, though. And torches are now even more effective, too, which is even better. Let's make sure not to go too deep, of course. After all, I wouldn't want to... Ninja Creeper to fall unexpectedly. Okay. And I'm already out of torches. So let's go into this corner for a little bit. Oh, I actually have more torches, never mind. Okay. Most of those mobs are now out of that area. There's still a Creeper there, though. Maybe I'll go this way for now. There's less mobs over here, of course, only being one, really. Which is a skeleton right here. And that spider. Okay. That spider.
spider can mostly be left alone. Eh. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, if I didn't see that, actually, it probably would have actually fell in there. there. Hardcore series already ended. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Just imagine. Okay, but now we've got that closed. So I don't think there'll be any ends here. Yeah, no accidents here. No thanks. Slowly conquering this cave, one torch by one torch. Light it up. Okay, guys. That looks pretty lit up to me. In case a ninja creeper spawns here, I'll just also place one right here. All right, look at that. Any super dark parts will just be lit up by me, though. Hey, let's go. All right, let's look at all the resources we have here. We've got some nice iron, which I'm somewhat overdue on. I could use more of that. So let's get it. Guess we'll hit up now. Actually, I do want to cover, light up one more area. And yeah, as for the diamonds, I'll probably just get them when I, whenever I have. Oh, actually, we have this part over here where Ninja Creeper could fall. There's the cave. Okay, so this is the ceiling over here. That's actually really good to know. Glowberry's glowberry placement won't be too hard. Yeah, this cave seems like a nice area. I could do a lot with it. We can get an easy way up if we mine this block, though. Actually, no, that would remove all the torches I have here. Um... Yeah, and probably a lot of the torches down there, actually. Yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Unless, actually... All right, now to test and get some water flowing down here, and then I'll have an alternative way up here. Bruh. Well, I think there is one miscalculation. Let's remove that really quick. Let that flow down. Why is it taking so long? Come on, disappear already. Disappear. Please. Please. Okay, finally. Oh my gosh. Never knew watching water flow down would be one of the slowest processes I've ever seen. Hey, it is what it is. Alright, all the water's done flowing. Okay, let's go. Epic! Man, though, the water elevator potential is crazy in these types of caves. Especially with the amount of room. But alright, we've conquered this cave. Um, let's head back out, actually. Maybe smelt all the stuff we have. Ooh, you know what? I'm thinking over there. That looks like a good place to put a village. So, maybe for now I'll just make a little wall. Actually, how long have I been recording for? One hour, you know? I can go a little longer. They are the spawn chunk. 
Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> that that's quite unfortunate, but you know, uh, it is what it is. Let's also mine this for once, once and for all. Okay, and look at that. That's growing nicely. And we've got more bone meal now too. So let's collect some. These don't hurt you when you jump on them, so that's good. Okay, let's plant more. Get, like, a farm going, and then I'll be able to do, like... Ooh, maybe next episode, just have a bunch of glow berries. Yeah, of course, hanging down and around. That'll be fun to make. Um, we've got moss, so maybe I'll make a separate area where, um... Ooh! As for a moss farm, since it turns, like, every block into the moss, maybe we can make some, like, um, stone farm. Moss converter, have, like, some TNT blow it up. Let's also check our iron reserves. Alright, so I've got two right here. And I think I'll start also by clearing more of this part right here. Clearing this chunk, of course, to ground level, which will be the most painful thing in existence. But you know, I'm used to it. I'm used to pain. Oh. So yeah, let's dig a couple more layers. It'll just be tradition to like dig tons of layers down or something. Someday I will reach bedrock, mark my words. Someday. And once I do, it will be glorious. And alright, looks like it's going to be day 11 now. Let's just head up here before it gets too dark. And I'll leave this exposed because I kind of want to make like a 9 chunk area eventually. That's how big this is going to be. A whole 9 chunks. My goodness, though, my inventory is going to be so full of snow by the time this is done. <clears throat> because the snow goes deep. Let's make another chest. Put it right here. Whoops. And maybe I'll just make this the stone chest. The underground chest where all the Underground stuff goes. Let's continue on. Oh man, though, all these layers. It's gonna take forever to get bit to bedrock. Why am I doing this now? Well, actually, this is also a good way to get some resources for the village I plan to eventually make, so... It's not a total loss. I mean, yeah, look at all that stone I have. I could probably make a miniature village and houses around the area. Place some torches, of course, and all that. Alright, let's start on the... Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? Let's start on the glowberry thing. We're gonna have one right here. One layer of glowberries. And that's gonna be... Maybe every... Maybe like two blocks apart. I don't know. That doesn't sound like too much. Alright, perfect. I got it all set up now. Now the next step is to actually get Glowberry. At least one. At least one. And we'll place that right there. Perfect. The longer these become, the more Glowberries they'll produce, of course, so... Waiting won't take as long. And then eventually we'll just have, like, glow berries everywhere. It'll be amazing. My glow berry empire. Now I think it's a good time to start on... Maybe a village. Somewhat. I mean, not a full one. But, you know, somewhat a village. You know, something that resembles it. So I know I need, like... 
eight cobblestone for a stack. So let's get that ready. Eh, any more growth? No, not yet? Okay. That's fine. So while that's smelting, let's get more cobble over here. Man, though, this music. And a pit to fall into my death. Alright, need another pick. Let's check the glow barriers. I no. I, I, I'm checking too often. Oh my gosh. We're actually almost at, um... A good bottom plateau, though. Over here. Alright, let's check on our cobble, though. Uh, still not done. I mean, it's halfway. Um, I'll dig one more layer, and then we can begin the frame for the village plan. Alright, another layer done and complete and finished. Hello? Any glow berries for me? No? Okay. Alright, let's get on with the next step, which is to make the village border. Really? Still not done? Well, I guess we can just uh, start and smelt another set of uh, stone then. Like another few stacks here. I think another thing I want to find is bamboo, which you can find at shipwrecks. Um, I guess it would also be a good idea to find them at, like, an actual jungle biome. So, let's see how much we have. I don't think this will be enough for all the next stacks of... Cobblestone? Yeah, no. That's not even gonna be close to enough. Yeah. Well, I guess going to the nether can have another benefit. Which is, uh, being able to get blaze rods to smell stuff, but... Well, yeah. And... Actually, can you mine blue ice with a regular pickaxe? Blue ice. I don't think so. But alright, this is almost done smelting. I'll wait until the last one finishes. And then I will go make the frame for the planned village in the area. Now, let's turn these all into stone bricks. And let's make them all into walls here. Oh, whoops. Uh, well, I'll just craft them tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's begin on the border here. For the village. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay. You, yeah. So, let's start on the board. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> really? This is like, it's literally a death trap. I mean, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realize how much there was. You know, I might need... I, I might need to build it at a different area, you know, entirely. Well, let's look out for some powdered snow, of course, otherwise we'll have some problems. All our villagers would just freeze to death in the future. It, it makes sense, because it's a snow biome, but it's just everywhere. Let's just... Let's just go... Right here. This is good. Let's start flattening the land here. There's some powdered snow right here, so I think this will be a good starting point. So let's start flattening the land a little bit. Yeah, okay, let's get a chest maybe over here or something. Because, oh my gosh. And that will also be a good place to place um, my blocks that I'm going to use. But I think the first thing I'm going to make in that village area is a little town, or no, maybe trading center, because I really want to get the trades down as soon as possible. Um, let's get this tree right here. There we go. 
And let's make the chest. Epic. Let's also place this crafting table. I swear this goat's gonna hit me or something. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just want to be right if, if he didn't at, at one point. Alright, let's get to the bid. Because I do not want mobs to spawn here. At any cost. How many shovels should I make? Like... Let's just make every, every shovel. All the shovels. Five shovels. Oh, this is the... Oh, that's right, I gotta stay clear of that part. Oh my gosh. Now, where exactly is the powdered... Okay. It's all right here. I think this is a good part to cut... To cut off the snow. Just endless... Snow. So much. You know, terraform it a little. All these little tiny pieces of nightmare. Like right here. Just imagine trying to... Like MLG snow powder with like a snow powder bucket. And y you didn't remember that you were wearing leather boots, so... You just plummet and take fall damage. I'm gonna have to think about something, because I think torches will, j will just melt it, of course, so... I think glow berries will be the answer there. Alright, we're almost rid of it, at least on this part. Alright, so now we can start on the border at, like, for once, I guess. Determine how big it will all be, and then plan according to that. So, let's go and do this some, um, right after I craft all of these into snow blocks. All right, let's go. Let's plan the entire size of this whole structure. Of the entire village. So I think starting here will actually be a pretty good idea. Really? Bruh. Oh, what a chicken jockey. Pretty slow one though. Alright, this is a pretty big gate. Yeah, I'll probably clean up a little bit more um, once I get, like, everything else. Really, no glowberries? Well, they've grown pretty long, though. Well, alright. Um, let's get more coal to smelt, I guess. I know coal um, spawns pretty high upwards, like over here. We can see some right there. Right on this layer. So let's get some of that for more of the gates to make. Oh, and they don't have to think of like a little way to have like glow berries. Maybe like some sort of um. Oh, I actually got a really good idea for um, how to incorporate light in the village. I'll probably work on that instead of the frame today, once I... Or maybe on the next episode. And then I can work on the actual village. Yes. And let me pause really quick. Look up, like, <laughs> what levels everything spawns at. 95 and 135. That's the best layer for coal? Ah, oh, so I just need to go... You're, you're telling me I need to go higher, then. I, I need to go higher, oh, okay. Might as well just mine a mountain, then. Alright, let's go to layer 14. And let's begin. Already a cave, that's a good sign. That's the quickest cave in the west right there. Or actually no, quickest cave in the east. And another cave to conquer, but uh... Oh, I'll conquer that 
a little later. Uh, wait, no way. No way. Already? Okay, let's make sure we don't get any of those ones right there. Nice. Alright, let's go. Let's get some of these. Oh, whoops. What's that? Oh, no. I, I mind that. You gotta be kidding me. I feel so devastated. Uh, but hey, at least I'm not Cookie God. He just mines all of them without a care in the world. Probably doesn't even know that these ones spawn the crystals. Ah, painful. Every time I watched, it was it was just pure pain. Let's see what's over here. All right, there's a bat. Man, though, that's a big cave. No, no, no. Okay. Nope. Goodbye. Uh, let's go this way. You know, we got a quick cave right there. Let's see what else we can find if we go in a little bit of a different direction here. Yeah, honestly, I should probably just get... make, like, a higher mine shaft or something. Because, yeah, I'm probably not going to find much coal. You know what? Maybe I'll just make another portal. I mean, where I spawn shouldn't be too diddly, right? My goodness, though, this episode is all over the place. Uh, expedition making like a village town and now we're going to go to the nether without armor fun but i'm going to stick to this challenge the 100 leather armor well i haven't found leather armor yet so maybe i should start it when i actually get leather armor i don't know i'll let you guys decide um let's also check if the blowberries i don't know they don't look like they're Growing yet? Yeah, no. Not yet. But more will soon. Very soon. And I'll also need to get more fish before I decide to go to the nether. Okay, I've got a good amount of fish now, so now I think it's time to go to the nether. Alright, I'm ready. I've never been more ready, actually, just in case. Maybe I should bring some blocks to build around for the nether. I don't know, you never know when you need blocks. And also some slabs to travel around if I end up finding, like, a fortress, maybe. Alright, let's begin on the nether portal. So what I'd like to do first is just... get an area ready that kind of looks like the frame. And now, we can get onto this step over here. Actually, how effective is the lighting here? Just to check. Yeah, no mobs. Ah, such a sight to see. Let's also dig out these blocks right here. And dig another layer upwards, so that way. And perfect. Now we can begin. Did I bring a flint and steel with me, actually? Oh yeah, I did.
pretty slow, but you know, looks nice. Alright, let's begin. We're going into the nether. Actually, maybe Deep Slate War will look better, even though it's the cobbled one. This spot, too. Alright, let's go in. What? Okay, there's lava right here. Thank goodness I looked up, actually. This is a pretty crazy spawn, though. Uh, let's just put that down right there. This is an insane spawn. Like an insane nether portal right here. That's crazy. Let's also make a little barrier. This will be where our nether journey starts at. But yeah, I can already make something pretty decent with this. Let's make one more layer, just to be safe. My legs are shaking right now, oh my gosh, I'm a little too excited here. But alright, let's see what loot is in here, and what loot awaits us in this nether fortress. Is this the- is this the- the blaze spawner? If so, you've gotta be kidding me! Ooh. Hold on. Okay, that's just one gas for now. Man, though, the nether fortress. Right at spawn. Uh, let's see what we can find. I think this is a pretty safe way to look around. You gotta be kidding me. I really need to look down more. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really need to look down more. That was a bit of a scare. But it's doable. You know, it's not the worst thing. It, it's avoidable. We just need to be a little more cautious of our surroundings here. There's a big magma cube over there. Aw oh man, well, I don't know. I'll explore more of this later, actually. Actually, you know what? I can probably get a general idea for where it is if I... If I just... Look around it first and... Yeah, if I get the idea on where it's at, then I won't need to worry about having to, like, find out and guess where it is if I know the general idea. I guess the first step would just be to get to the roof of the structure here, but that in itself is somewhat risky as well. I mean, not really. Getting to the roof probably isn't that bad. Or too hard, considering right here is like where a ceiling is at, kind of. This is somewhat nerve-wracking, though. I can even hear skeletons, actually. That's not good, I could get knocked off. So, this is... I just need to know the general direction. Is that where it is? I think that's the spawner right there. Yeah, so there's one right there, under that pillar. And that 
pillar is near there where all those mushrooms are. So if I look up, I might see glowstone in that area. Okay. Then if I go a little further, I should find it. Can't climb up here, right? Nope, you can't. I meant to actually place it like this, but you know, that works out of my fate. Like, like this? That works out of my fate. Yep, this is where it's at. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's a little too close. And you know, that works. Come on. I'll just hit it like this. You know what, never mind. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I'm a little bit... I think I need to go a little bit more... Oh my gosh, that's right. Almost forgot. They're over there too. Goof me. I'll have to be over there. Well, we have another situation here now. Well, maybe I'll just make a run for it. Yeah, let's make a run. Woo! Oh my gosh. Yeah, no thanks. You can keep your fire to yourself. Well... But anyways, guys, I think that's about it. Uh, let's see, I dig more layers. Uh, went on a little expedition. Found, like, tons of trees and saplings and whatnot. And, uh, I made a little border for the for the village I, I'm going to plan. And not only that, but we went I went to the nether and then uh, found a fortress literally right away, so I don't think a blaze farm will be too hard if I can accomplish it right. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day or night depending on which side of the earth you love on, and bye.